setting up for three plus two axis machining. Uh, there are various different ways to set a component up dependent upon the type of geometry that you have. Uh, we'll work through a couple of scenarios here. First thing to do is to uh, select the triangulated surfaces. And if uh, you want to machine a normal to this face, for example, then if you hold down the N key on the keyboard and click the left mouse button, it will rotate the part so that your viewpoint is normal to this surface. If I then hold down the control key while selecting the bounding box option, it will ask me if I want to apply the current rotation. If we say OK to that, then the bounding box dialog will appear. You should note that here we can see the A, the B and the C rotations that this component has been rotated around. If I click the OK, we will build ourselves a bounding box with these given anchors. If I select the surfaces and the bounding box, I could then do a machine routine inside of that perimeter. Alternatively, I could select a further surface in order to create a silhouette from to localize my machining. Notice here that the new silhouette has the same A, B, C rotations as the original bounding box. So select the triangulated surfaces, select the silhouette boundary. We'll demonstrate this by putting some raster passes on it. Linking those passes together and animating it for you. So that's the first option. Another solution would be to select the triangulated surfaces, to go to the bounding box option, and to apply a rotation in here by hand. So if I want to rotate around the x-axis, that's going to be an A rotation. So if I apply a rotation of 45 degrees, you see I have a bounding box that is rotated around the X axis or the A rotation by 45 degrees. Again, I can select either the entire bounding box together with the triangulated surfaces in order to do some machining. So here, let's uh, briefly apply maybe some uh, area clearance paths. Increase the step down so this runs a little bit quicker for us. Link those passes. And animate the tool path. And you'll see that we're coming in now from 45 degrees. Additionally, if I select the area clearance passes and the bounding box, I can go and create myself a stock model. If you have a problem setting up a component for 3 plus 2 axis machining, either because you don't know or cannot ascertain the angle about which you want to rotate, or you don't have a surface that is normal to the face you want to machine, then uh, 
get in touch with me and send me the model data and I will build a demonstration around your specific part.